What's going on everybody, it's Dilbert and welcome to my channel. So today I want to announce that my LearnXR.io VR course is now available on the portal. I am really excited to welcome all of you who already enrolled. I'm also been working on it for a few weeks, so it's been quite a bit of a work. <laughs> and to be honest, it's been really, really fun to, to work on a training course that teaches people from you know beginner level all the way to advanced level. So, Today I want to announce it, but at the same time, I want to talk a little bit about what to expect from a training course like that. And if you want to enroll, what is it, what are the requirements? What kind of things should you be expecting? And some of the things that I ended up doing for this course is I wanted to make sure that everybody could take it. And the reason for that is because I wanted many more people to learn XR, but at the same time, I don't want you to jump into a training course and really don't know how to get started with coding. So that's why I decided to do the C-sharp training. And the C-sharp training is going to teach you through a lot of the fundamentals of C-sharp. I go through, you know, creating variables, what are some of the different data types. We also go into extension methods, loops. We also cover how to use it in Unity with C-sharp scripting, model behaviors, and some of the life cycle of the Unity event. So that should get you going with the C sharp piece. It's not going to cover everything, but it's going to give you a lot of background on the programming. And then my idea was if you take the C sharp course and you get familiar with it, why not integrate you into a VR course where I can teach you one of the most widely used frameworks, which is the XR toolkit, which is something that Unity is constantly updating. And it's the one that I use very frequently when working with clients. So that course is now available on LearnXR.io. You can take it. I'm also offering a pre-sale and the pre-sale was actually going to expire in as soon as I release the course, which was going to be April 17. And then what I did is I ended up pushing it through. So it's going to go and be valid until the end of the month. So right now we're looking at the end of April. So if you guys want to join during the pre-sale, you're going to be basically getting a discount there. And then after that, I'm going to have the AR course release next month, which is going to be with AR Foundation. And then this one, it's going to cover a lot of different features available in XR Toolkit. So what kind of things should you expect from the XR Toolkit course? So there's gonna be a lot. I, I try to do and, and limit myself not to do too much. And it ended up being about 30 different videos. I also have slides. I also have different repos for source code. So I'm going to go through the fundamentals of building a VR applications. So basically some of the core components such as using the XR rig, using the controllers, then going into locomotion, how you grab items in VR, all the different grab transformers that basically give you constraints when you're grabbing different items. And then if you want to use a snap rotation, or continuous movement and continuous rotation as well. You can use that in locomotion. And then once I go through some of the core uh, fundamentals of building a VR application, I jump into actually creating a game. And I decided to do a game that was going to be in, and teach you some of the core components. So I decided to do escape room where I teach you how to basically bring in an uh, environment. In that environment, you have to place different features and those features become things that you can interact with, such as finding a key and then going into a door and then opening the door and then trying to find out, okay, what is the key combination for a keypad? And there's just a lot of different things that you can do in that game. So I go from the very beginning to the very end where the beginning, we're just starting to work on some of the features. And then at the end, you're gonna get basically a, an application, a game that you can deploy to your VR device specifically a MetaQuest or MetaQuest 2 or a MetaQuest Pro. And I also have some notes on other devices that you can also use, such as a Pico, HP Reverse. So if there's a lot that I'm covering in this course. So that's why I wanted to make a video about it. So just make sure that you check it out. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I, I have everything very fresh in my mind from working on the course. There's also a community that it's starting to get pretty active and that is in my Discord. So if you have questions about, you know, something that you're looking at through the course, you don't understand that you can ask me questions and ask the community. People that have taken the course also are going to be active there. So just make sure that you check that out and I'll leave you to that. If you have additional questions, let me know and I'm really excited to have you. 
And if you don't join today or you join tomorrow, I'm still excited to have you watch my videos on YouTube. So really excited about it. And thank you very much for your trust and thank you very much for your time. Thank you guys.